Do you have a small hands and hate that you can't reach the back button? Mother f Well now, Peer Gear has come out with a solution. It won't make your hands bigger, but will add two new buttons to your iPhone. Let's check it out. This is the box for the Peer Gear Tempered Glass Smart Plus buttons. That's a handful to say at once. It gives your iPhone new physical shortcut buttons, kinda. It really just maps the bottom two corners of the iPhone to the top corners of the LCD. Typically where back our refresh buttons are located. Inside the box, you get some paperwork you won't need because instructions are for losers. But in the case you get lost, it's also listed here. The first and most important step is to clean your screen because fingerprints and dust will f*** this all up. Thankfully, this kit comes with everything you need. Use the alcohol wipe to clean away dirt and any marks. Then take the microfiber cloth and wipe away any leftover streaks and clear the dust. Now, take the installation jig and follow the numbers. First, lift the tab, then insert the iPhone face up. Second, peel where it says peel here. Try not to breathe or you'll get dust on it and ruin everything. Then pull downwards and align it into the grooves of the jig. To remove any bubbles left over, find a card and push down towards the edge to remove the air. Then just lift the top sticker by pulling it back. There's also a hole in the back to help push your iPhone out of the jig and then you can throw that out. The first shortcut button can be accessed here and is mapped to here. The second is the same but on the opposite side. And voila! Wait. So apparently instructions are required here, but it won't work unless you're holding the actual iPhone. It works! This is just super convenient, especially for 6 plus users or anyone under 6 feet tall. No more stretching or wiggling your iPhone around in fear of dropping it to hit that back button. The glass is also recessed around the edges, meaning you can throw one of these on, and then feel even more confident holding your iPhone. A case also doesn't interfere with the buttons. And although you're adding a layer of glass to the screen, 3D touch still works fine. But tempered glass is known for their protection, so how well does this one do? After my initial key test, it looks like I got lucky and hit an edge. Twice. Causing the whole thing to start cracking, but it's nice to see it doesn't shatter. Simple surface rubbing and even light drops don't make it worse, but three times the charm and throwing keys at it again causes even more cracks along the edge. Which, as expected, has broken the connection of the shortcut buttons, rendering that function useless now. I know it says scratch resistant and not impact resistant, but if I throw my keys in my pocket and it collides with my keys at a wrong angle, then what? But if you're luckier than me and get to use it for longer than 3 minutes, the protector is surprisingly thin for being glass, which won't make your iPhone feel extra thick. It costs about $20 on Amazon, I've linked all that below, and is available for all the 6 models. Now in the few minutes that I did get to test it, it worked amazingly great awesomely. Unfortunately, if you're gonna say it's scratch resistant and put a key as the icon on the box, I'm gonna test it that way, and, well, now it's just a useless piece of glass. If you like my video, give a thumbs up. If you didn't get a thumbs down, and do subscribe for future updates. I um I rest my screen protector.